300 yards are at almost 2,100 um, pounds of energy. With with the 40 cal? With the 40 cal. How's it going, everyone? This is Darren with muzzleloaders.com, and you're listening to the Muzzleloaders podcast, but this is a bonus episode, so it's also going to be kind of like a video, and uh, we're out here in Montana, and we're going to be talking about some pretty exciting stuff with the 40, 45, and 50 caliber bullets, and there's a whole bunch of new stuff that's been developed, and uh, CVA has kind of been on the cutting edge of the caliber technologies and muzzle loading. And I am with Chad Shearer, who is the uh, director of media relations. Is that right? <laughs> director of media relations and advertising. In advertising, so, yes, yeah. for for BPI, and so he is very familiar with CVA and all the different ins and outs of these different calibers here. And so we're excited to get his uh, take on all this stuff. We're gonna dice it all up we're going to talk about the pros and cons some of the legality we're going to talk about um uh which caliber is probably going to be right for you depending on what hunt you have coming up and all that kind of stuff so stay tuned for that so uh chad what are we looking at let's start with the 50 caliber um 50 caliber has kind of been the the go-to standard for at least the last decade maybe even two decades um but now we're kind of starting to see some switch away from that but why is the 50 caliber reigned so long you think you know, 50 caliber is very popular, and it's kind of the workhorse. It, you can do everything with that muzzleloader. I think one of the things that you need to look at is, am I going to have multiple muzzleloaders, or am I just going to have one muzzleloader? Yep. If you're going to have one muzzleloader, the 50 caliber is great because you can use it in so many states. For example, going to Colorado, you have to have a 50 caliber. That's caliber restriction to hunt elk, mm -hmm. um, whereas other states, it, it's... It's not a, as critical on that caliber restriction. The other thing is um, finding your components can tend to be a little bit easier. Um, and also finding uh, any of your uh, different things that you need for loading and for cleaning and, and so forth. Uh, any any of that gear, it makes it a little easier to find. So that that's one of your uh, biggest plugs for the 50 cal. Yeah, and I think the the fifty caliber has just kind of been because it's been in, it's been the king for so long. You have those; it's easier to find those supplies. Yeah, the accessories that you need. It, it's it's they're readily available. So, um, especially if someone doesn't prepare and uh, go to muzzleloaders dot com first and have all the stuff they need before they go on a hunt, if they show up in a small town and oh, I forgot this or I I need this. Uh, I need a cleaning jag or something. It's just, it's just a lot of times it's easier to find the 50 caliber accessories. Totally. And uh, let's talk about some of the downfalls to the 50 caliber. And this is kind of what birthed these new calibers. Um, the 50 caliber is not as good of a performer at long ranges, right? Right. It's it's going to drop off. Um, yeah, you can use a little lighter bullets. Um, one of the things that a lot of people, I think it's important when we throw this uh 50, 45, 40 caliber conversation in there is there's a lot of people over the years that use sabotage bullets. Mm -hmm. And if you shoot a 50 caliber muzzle loader and you're using a sabotage bullet, you're shooting a 40 or a 45 or a 0.44 uh, bullet diameter in that 50 caliber muzzle yeah. loader. So one of the things that power belt did and CVA has done is they're actually using actual bullet diameter. So when you're talking a, 50 caliber in a power belt that's actual bolt diameter 45 and so forth and so that is one of the things that has really benefited uh the whole muzzle loading industry is when when power belt did this you can get those heavier bullets now you can get a, a more weighted bullet out of a 45 where it used to just be in a 50 yeah totally and i think that that's kind of the um that's some of the benefit to 50 caliber but i mean you can't have it all right you have to have some some pros and cons with it and that's kind of what's birthed the uh the 45 cal and uh we saw the introduction of the elr bullet from power belt in yep. 2019 alongside the uh the original paramount model and also the introduction of some 45 calibers in the acura lineup from cva and so now we're starting to see that kind of trend in muzzle loading what are the benefits of the 45 caliber and who, what kind of hunter does that make sense for? Well, and I'll just tell you, I started using a 45 caliber, uh, for even for elk back in the early two thousands mm -hmm. and, and, uh, before we had the ELR bullets and had incredible success with it. And, uh, we were, 
uh, doing some cutting edge stuff using that 45 because everybody was 50 caliber or 54. Yeah. Um, a lot of the, and a lot of that came from the old round ball days and the mm -hmm. conical where you had to have that for the weight. So that 45 caliber is just a fantastic shooting gun. Um, it's, it's accurate. Uh, you've got enough bullet power with it. For example, that ELR bullet, you're shooting a, a 285 grain bullet, but the ballistic coefficient is 0.333. So you have an amazingly accurate um, gun where it's going to be flat shooting and it's going to be hard hitting. I tell yeah. you, it's it's it, it's great on elk, but on deer, it's an incredible caliber for that. Yeah, totally. And um, I'll put the link above. We did some ballistic gel testing with the 50 caliber ELR. Yep. And uh, we were talking about that last night, but I was really impressed with it. It had a lot of, it had a really good controlled expansion, about 50% weight retention. You had terminal performance in that, you know, uh, probably two to seven inch mark. And then you had a slug that penetrated the whole rest of the way. And so that's kind of what you're looking for, especially when you're looking to take down elk. Absolutely. Is that terminal performance in uh, with the paired with the penetration. Right. And so I think that the ELR in the 45 caliber is a, is an awesome addition to the to the lineup. But then um, I guess it was I guess it would have been last year. These years have seemed so long, but yeah. uh, it would have been last year. We have the introduction of the 40 cal mm -hmm. and um, that kind of took the muzzleloading world by storm. And before the 40 caliber was introduced in the uh, in like the inline lineup usually 40 cal was kind of like your you know your higher your upper end squirrel gun in traditional muzzle loaders right. and it was kind of unheard of for the most part in inlines and so you have the introduction of the cva paramount htr it's available in the uh, paramount pro model and this muzzle loader is capable of 400 plus yard accuracy yep. um and so what are some of the benefits with the 40 cal well one of the biggest benefits is your speed your velocities um i mean that right coming out of the barrel you're you're at 2760 feet per second with a blackhorn 209 charge and i mean that's fast i mean mm -hmm. you're talking you're getting into that 308 30 odd six even a little faster when you're, you're bumping it up uh there but it's flat shooting so let's yeah. talk a little bit about trajectory um if you're shooting out there and you're zeroed at 200 with that 40 caliber at 300 yards, you're going to drop 8.8 .8 inches, 400, two points, or I'm sorry, 26 inches. Mm -hmm. So you compare that to a 45 that's zeroed at 200, you're going to drop about 10 inches or 31 inches. But then you jump into a 50 caliber, zeroed at 200, it's going to drop 13 inches at 200, uh, and you're going to drop uh, 38 um, inches, which still at 400 yards with a muzzleloader, that's pretty impressive. But what yeah. I love is your energy i mean you're still at um 300 yards you're at almost 2100 um, pounds of energy with with the 40 cal with a 40 cal uh Man. you're at 1700 pounds at 1400 so you have you have that so so where energy. so the you're at 17 can you say that part again i got 1701 <laughs> uh foot pounds of energy at 400 yards oh okay got it i thought you said 1400 and i was like yeah. oh man that's no wow that's crazy yeah um, 1700 yeah. pounds of energy at 400 you you it when you're looking at other calibers that that changes like your 50 caliber that's 1566 foot pounds of energy so those are all things and of course we're talking a 225 grain bullet in a in a 40 cal versus a 50 cal you're talking a 312 grain bullet yep. uh, to get that ballistic coefficient C. so those are all um big things to look at and i mean that's that's some knockdown power it and is. Uh, yeah. i will tell you i uh, take a mule deer and whitetail and just i mean we we shot some video uh on our tv show where these deer just boom they just tipped over and it was just amazing they're done. The power yeah. they're done yep yep i think that's the that's the really cool thing about the 40 cals that takes muzzle loading to the next level where you're able to push those those you know 1700 feet or uh foot pounds of energy at 400 yep. yards is yep. serious yeah um, it is that's that's well over like usually they say a thousand is your threshold for deer that's well over your threshold for deer and bear and so that really takes it to the next level of um, being able to take your muzzleloader out to that longer range and really 
get things done, take care of business. So it, it does. The only thing you got to really pay attention to is what states allow those calibers and what seasons. And for mm -hmm. me, I even hunt with my muzzleloader during firearm season, which that opens up even more. Yeah more states over half the states allow you to use uh the 40 caliber but but you still need to check your race because things change every year yeah um, so that's that's very important yeah and i think cva is hard at work trying to get the 40 cal legal in as many states as possible and um you know so i think that like you say if you want to have multiple muzzle loaders and or maybe you want to you're like rifle season's gotten a little bit too easy for you you're looking for maybe a little bit of an additional challenge uh, the 40 cal is going to be the way to go for you. Um, the 45 caliber is kind of like that middle ground where yep. you're going to able, you're able to, um, I believe the 40 cal, you can still take shots out to 400 yards oh, pretty ab easily abs with that 45. Absolutely. I mean, you're still, you're only dropping 31 inches. So it's five inch, about five and a half inch difference, uh, between the 40 and 45. So, yeah, I mean, 40 is superior at those longer ranges, but I wouldn't hesitate with that 45 in in a in a second, and it's just a great gun. Yeah, I totally agree, and I think that um, you know you're you're a little bit more in that middle ground, and then 50 caliber is going to be if you just want one muzzle loader, you want to get it done, you're looking to extend your season. 50 caliber is a great option, yep. uh, or if you're going to be hunting Colorado, certain states have those restrictions, and um, often your regulations are really going to play a pretty major part in your caliber decision. And so just make sure you're, you're paying attention to what's going on in your local state. Um, so as far as these calibers go, I think that, uh, that about wraps it up for most of this. So, yeah, I appreciate it. A lot of great information, cva.com. You can read up a lot of information on that and in their catalog also, you can get that online and, uh, research it some more if you want. Fantastic link in the description for, uh, all the information on these different calibers from CVA. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed this, this, uh, bonus episode of the podcast slash video and uh, we will talk to you guys on the next episode.